Hi, I'm Rebecca Ball Carcel. Let's talk about A.M.P. John Updike's short story. First of all, why in the world is Sammy quitting his job? That's the main question of this story. And if we can answer that, then we'll unlock the key to the entire story. Here he is at the grocery store where he works. A.M.P. is a grocery store. And he's bored. He's even cleverly made up a little song that goes with the register noises, right? The drawer pops out and the little whistles and bells, I don't know, on the cash register uh, go off. And he's made this little song about it. He's heard it over and over and over. And if you've ever had a repetitive job, you know how boring it can be and how you entertain yourself with little, um, you know, creative things that you do in your head. So that's the kind of situation Sammy is in. Sammy also knows the store very well because he tells us the cereal cookies crackers aisle, all in one hyphenated phrase. It conveys how, again, he's very familiar with the, the grocery store and he's kind of bored. Uh, the style is important in revealing Sammy's teenage voice and situating him in the store as an employee who has been there too long, perhaps. Now, still, why did he quit his job there? Okay, well, he looks at his friend Stokesy, he's a co-worker, and he says, you know, that's not really the life for me. Stokesy's married, he has two children, but that's not the life that I see for myself, at least not now. Sammy is hoping for something bigger, something better, more adventurous. We don't know exactly, but Stokesy is one of the possible futures he could have, and he rejects that. Another possible future Sammy could have is Lengel. Lengel's the boss, kind of a stick in the mud, you know, um, pretty conservative Sunday school teacher, you know, good for him, but that's not the life that Sammy wants either. Lengel represents the conservative community, the very wholesome, sweet town that Sammy lives in, and, uh, you know, a great place to raise kids, but for a young man like Sammy, mm, boring. Now, the third possibility for Sammy, besides Stokesy, Lengel, is Queenie, the tall girl, or not the tallest girl, but the, the lead girl in this group of girls who come into the grocery store. Now, when these girls walk into the grocery store, they create a stir. All the other shoppers, the sheep who are just, you know, going through their routine of shopping, they are popped out of their normal routine and realize, oh my gosh, there's girls here and they're wearing nothing but swimsuits. And it rocks the boat a little bit. Sammy finds this interesting, entertaining. Of course, he's attracted to the girls somewhat. You know, he critiques how they look and all of that. But what's more important is that he realizes that these girls are uh, an injection of freshness and adventure into the boring A&P. Now, when Queenie comes up to the register, he sees a contrast between her and her life and the A&P life or the little sleepy town life that he is part of. She buys herring snacks. Now that may seem like an insignificant detail, but it's actually quite important because it shows her level. She is richer than uh, Sammy. She is higher class. At her house, they drink martinis. At least that's what Sammy thinks. He projects onto her a whole life that is quite refined and pleasant and more interesting than his life. He says at his house, they just eat out of, a, or they drink out of these glasses with logos on the front, maybe from, you know, some fast food restaurant or something. So he sees Queenie's life as the more desirable life. And when he imagines where she lives, imagines a whole life that she comes from, that is the life that he is interested in for himself. That's where he sees himself. So when Lengel insults these girls, immediately... He has insulted Sammy's uh, dream of becoming like them. And so when Lengel says, you girls shouldn't be in here, and you know he makes this big stance about rules and what, whatnot, Sammy says to himself, well, that's not right. These girls are 
are wonderful. They're bringing the beach here. You know, the town is near the beach, but no one goes to the beach. But here come the girls reminding us of our beach, reminding us of life, of energy, of doing things differently. The sleepy town is not the only possibility for Sammy when he sees those girls. So Lengel insults them and Sammy takes offense on their behalf. Why are you insulting these lovely ladies? And when he quits his job, it's him taking a stand, making his first adult decision. He realizes there will be consequences. The very ending lines of the story talk about the burden that he'll be under now. But he is ready to face that because for the first time, he's choosing to act in his own life. The job, he didn't really go after that job. In fact, his parents kind of got the job for him. His parents are friends of Lengel. So, you know, that wasn't really an independent step for him. Instead, quitting becomes the independent step. So he feels good about himself, even though Queenie did not notice him. The, none of the girls saw him do this heroic act. Uh, but still, he's proud of himself. And he's going to grow. He's, he's on his way. All right, I hope that helps you understand A&P by John Updike.